Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the BSL Season 16 Hasu League Finals. In the upper right-hand corner, we have Fisheye from Team Red in the red. Or, sorry, bottom right-hand corner, we have Fisheye, Team Red, in the red as the red Protoss bottom left. I said red a bunch of times there. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Retriever, a.k.a. Doodle, as the blue Protoss. This is going to be on Circuit Breaker. We got, you know, two base play. I think I've shown this map multiple times where you guys get the gist of it. We do have a mineral only third nearby. So we've got Doodle in our North American finalist going up against Fisheye representing Germany. Loco Cito, I think, arguably, I'm not sure if they did a third place, fourth place match. I didn't want to say what country he was from. He's Peruvian, so South American. I wanted to say Central American for some reason in the previous match, but wanted to make sure he gets his just due. Should be an exciting one. Now it is up to who has better PVP. And I'm pretty, I'm pleased as punch to say that in earlier stages, I was like, I, I could see Doodle being the finalist here and going deep and I could see Fisheye, and I've said it for multiple seasons, Fisheye in top shape can take the take the finalist, can be a finalist in Azu League. So I'm glad to see him in tip top shape and proven me right, makes me feel good. Got a gateway to start here from Doodle. This is a four player map. The and I, it's not common to try to pull a 12 gate or a 12 nexus PVP, but you do see it every once in a while. It looks like both players going for a clockwise and counterclockwise scout, respectively. So, unless they do top right to bottom left or same thing on the opposite side, they're going to come across each other's base in the final position. The stereotypical thing to do is go gas on this map, but we're going to see a double gateway. It looks like we're seeing the uh, double gateway opener here from Fisheye. We're going to have an assimilator being constructed for Doodle. So going to be a test of Doodle's early game micromanagement skills. With the 10, I think it's the 10-12 gate, 11-10 gate from Bonneth in knowing positions. Oftentimes you can get the Zealot into your opponent's main, get a couple probes and you end up with an overall worker lead and your opponent's not really in a position to counter and doesn't the tech lead doesn't really provide a lot for them. Cybernetic score being built, we do have a buffer Zealot being constructed as well. Pylon along that edge could provide a shield battery or some other form of additional defense. Fisheye cycling his way around. Doodle still has, and this is an unfortunate scouting pattern for Doodle now against the initial zealots because he might end up missing those three zealots as they're making way to his base. Does have that cybernetic score up and running is going to construct, I assume, a Dragoon first. Probe actually able to sneak in, but dies instantly. Just sees that gateway on the corner, but does confirm that it's not a double gateway on his opponent's side of the map and the zealots so waiting on all three zealots before he fields them and that is going to allow the probe to see the zealots incoming and let's see if doodle reacts rapidly did not react to blockade any of the zealots and buy himself some time but going to be able to get into the main recognizes the double gateway play recognizes that there's gas to follow so that is going to give him a very strong indicator of exactly how to defend this he's actually opting for a shield battery I think he might have been able to sneak it with just a couple probes here rather than the shield battery. Initial Dragoon making its way out to get the pot shots to soften up that initial Zealot. So now it is going to be whether or not Doodle's able to out micro these Zealots. Sometimes what players will do is they'll even leave this Dragoon on the low ground. But blockading, the Zealot's able to march straight in, however, not a full seal. It's going to be a while before that second Dragoon's out, but the Zealots are going to get some shots in the probe line. It looks like they're working on the gas initially. One probe down. Second probe not yet killed. The probe's losing some mining time, going for a probe drill right there to get some disruption. The Zealots have all been taken care of. However, as you can see, two worker lead now for Fisheye, which tends to be the advantage of that early gate play. Range going to finish much more rapidly, however for Doodle, but on a larger map like this, not really going to be able to capitalize on it. And let's see if this probe is able to exit. There's also this probe that is potentially going to get lost interior. Okay, that's at least going to be able to exit. But Fisheye with the slight lead, a robotics facility being dropped. So it's going to be one gate into Robo for Doodle. Let's see if he wants to go one gate Robo into Expand. Dragoon's going to the low ground. One, I do think one advantage of having, knowing that you have the range advantage, is it does allow you to go for more macro plays a little bit more safely. So no, you can't push into your opponent, but at the same time. And as I say that, Doodle moving across the map with three Dragoons and a Zealot. But you'll notice because of that 
close distance and the two gate production, he's going to be going into inferior numbers. So going to tr he's going to have to try to utilize range. Maybe he just wants to check and make sure whether that nether that nether that night <laughs> that natural expansion nether expansion the natural expansion is constructing or not. So able to confirm that right this second, and maybe just wanting to deny the low ground as long as possible. But he's going to be doing that at a numbers disadvantage, and range is not that far from finishing for Fisheye. Robotics facility, so it's going to be two gate Robo from him. Probe going to lose its life. Look at that battle probe. And he lives! What an, uh, what an a feisty little probe. Did you see him? He was not holding back at all. Dragoon wants to get that last shot on him. Is this probe going to live? If he does, that'd be amazing. So Robo, Robo, blah, Robo up it looks like an observatory to follow. The Zealot going to sacrifice itself to the south, and we've got six Dragoons versus three. Huge numbers advantage, which you would expect out of two gateways versus one. I'm not sure what Doodle's play was here. Aside from just checking that natural expansion, now trying to use that high ground to create a bit of blockade. Dragoons trying to exit to the south to buy some time, but this is going to be easy play for Fisheye to go ahead and grab his natural expansion, maybe even move in and deny an additional base. And it's just observers being built from Doodle. Oftentimes, if you're going one gate or a two gate into Robo with a play like this, you're going to see the Reaver construction. But after those initial losses, Fisheye not only getting some initial Dragoon kills, killing that very feisty probe, but also going to be able to get aggressive and maybe deny the actual expansion, although we have this shield battery here, so it's mostly going to put a taxation on Doodle to walk down the ramp to engage, but it's going to be the same problem other direction where it is a distanced reinforcement point, and there's only six Dragoons versus a superior number of Zealot nearly losing his life with all of the volley that happened there. Regardless, it's still going to be a block natural expansion, allowing Fisheye to go ahead and get a much faster second nexus. The information advantage, however, to Doodle, briefly, as this second observer being built, I like Fisheye's build and position much better. He's going for the robotics facility as a follow-up. Do we have the robotics facility? Okay, we do have the robo underneath. Let me get rid of that. There we go. And speed being upgraded, so Doodle actually wants to play it with aggressive shuttle as far as the continuation play and that is going to mean he's going to have to get some magical harassment done to catch up economically destroying his own shield battery the reaver should be able to bully especially with the observer to line up some shots should be able to push these dragoons out you can see the zealots along the edge looking for a potential engagement point they're just inviting this reaver down the ramp kind of a natural funnel and i making a nice little cycled effort because despite having superior numbers, Doodle still has to go across the low ground. So now that Reaver taking some damage, the Zealots leading their way across. A, I was going to say a dud, but no lands. And Fisheye now losing a massive amount of troops as Doodle getting a nice sweeping engagement across. Four Dragoons now in flight, giving the supply lead to Doodle overall. We have Speed Shuttle to follow, and this is actually going to be a massive counterattack all of a sudden. So that, never mind, a second shuttle wasn't being built, and it looks like Doodle's going to go for his natural expansion. Doodle does see everything here, including the Reaver and the defensive shield battery at the natural. But this is turning into a, a true back and forth battle here. Doodle re-scrambling, maybe just going to hold that high ground. Right now, going to be economically behind. Let's see if Fisheye is able to capitalize on that by dropping some additional... Yeah, they're dropping the gateways now. He's actually floating a good amount of minerals here in between. And Doodle does have a pretty good threat. Looks like the Observer going to go get picked off for some nice information denial, a probe sacrificing itself for the cause as well. But you can just see the worker lead is massive for Fisheye and a probe actually going to sneak out. And I think he's going to go try to grab an another base riskily kind of naked out of the three o'clock location, which I kind of like that play from Fisheye. Might as well use the resources while he's got it. And he does have a huge economic lead. So we got speed shuttle. There's the shuttle being produced now. The Reavers making their way back. I was expecting a shuttle construction immediately after that first Reaver to maybe go for a counter push play. Instead, it looks like Doodle scooping around. Yeah, that probe waiting in the wings to maybe go for an additional drop. But it's also possible that there was a hope of elevatoring some troops. I haven't seen that in quite some time. But Fisheye, not such the new player that he doesn't have good pylon coverage across the wall. And Doodle able to confirm, in fact, that there's no angle. But now pressing in 
We have a shield battery and a wall of Dragoons right there. Close to reinforcement points from Fisheye. He's also got a superior gateway count at a distance. The Dragoons trying to protect themselves to the corner. Reaver keeping alive by that one shield battery, but Re Doodle really pushing in. The Dragoons completely fully committed now and not able to take out those, that Reaver to the north. And I think there is, yeah, so now able to wipe it out, but the shuttle dying as well. So Doodle expending his an entire attack force now. Fisheye has complete map control, can comfortably grab a third, should he desire to. The Observer is going to see for Doodle, okay, yep, I'm way down. We do have Scarab Explosive shot being upgraded, which I forget the name of the upgrade for that. I think it might just be Explosive Scarab or something along those lines. I'll look it up in between. Fisheye now blockading, creating some vision along the map just to make sure that a quick third hasn't been grabbed. Learning from Monk via Gauss in previous rounds, potentially. Forge dropping for him as well. He's got the four gateways. He's got the Reaver production continuing. He's got a huge supply lead, nearly double the supply of Doodle. And Doodle still running on four gateways and two bases. I'm wondering if Fisheye is going to sneak a nexus of his own or if that's just in position to... I think that's just in position to deny information. Doodle sneaking out a little bit on the map to try to get information of his own. But in about a minute or so, we're going to see that plus one weapons. And that is going to give a big lead to Fisheye because not only does he have a superior ground force, when they hit harder, it's going to be all the rougher on Doodle. A little bit of pun because we got Retriever up there. Regardless. Weaver shuttle continuing to be built. Not sure what to say at this stage, honestly. This is kind of looking like a fisheye win. Grabbing it looks like the nearby third. The observer is able to see it. I think we're just kind of waiting for that victory condition. I don't know that there's like Doodle would need a miraculous Weaver play. Some magic Weaver drop at the third or just plopping a reaver here getting a whole bunch of probe kills he'll need he needs 20 probe kills to even things out and he needs to establish an additional base that's what it comes down to and right now fisheye has pylons pretty much everywhere else to kind of shut that down and confirm anyway so we got a shuttle out we got the two reavers we need a miracle play from doodle to take the match probe already waiting there at the nine o'clock just in case that base was going to get grabbed third base already rolling for fisheye There is a sizable Dragoon force here to the south. So if we deduct 50, that's what, 80? And 30, it's still a massive army lead. Some pylons blockading the way to the south. And Doodle sneaking in right to the third. This might be the miracle he's looking for, finding a lot of troops out of position for Fisheye. Fisheye now crashing down, but he's going to be walking into a superior spread position. Although still able to get some high ground shots from there. And actually gets the miracle. Look at the probe count drop. Completely obliterating those troops. He just needs to win this fight otherwise. Unfortunately, a massive amount of Dragoons coming in and plus one weapons. Well, never mind. Plus one weapons not going to finish in time for this fight. But Doodle exiting still with some semblance of an army. But with a fell swoop. Gets the miracle he needed to stay relevant. Now he just needs to grab a third in short order. The supply count still massive advantage to Doodle. Or to Fisheye, I should say. But Doodle able to drop that worker count drastically with a calculated assault on the third. Great play, worthy of a Hasu League finalist right there. And also able to escape with some troops left over, which is a big bonus, really catching Fisheye out of position with that. Looks like he's gonna cycle around, maybe go for a shot at the natural expansion. Looks like there's a cannon defended there as well. Still no movements to grab a third, unfortunately. Which is still going to give Fisheye that overall economic lead. Observer is going to see that shuttle waiting in the wings. Looks like a few troops actually going to get picked off by Fisheye. But the Reaver lands, able to take out that cannon. That's going to send a few units scrambling. Doodle scooping that shuttle right back up and exiting with it. Wondering if these zealots are just marching out to go ahead. It looks like Doodle wanted to go ahead and grab that 9 o'clock location. But already blockaded by that pylon. It's going to give forewarning to Fisheye to go ahead and grab either an additional base or start moving and getting aggressive. Shuttle regrouping with the Dragoons again. Fisheye again on the high ground, this time leaving some Dragoons along that southern pocket if Doodle tries to play that same trick again. Doodle going ahead and grabbing that mineral only. 
And I'm wondering if he's going to try to sweep that pylon out and try to go for a double expansion to try to catch up economically. He's within a 10 probe worker count, but Fisheye still in firm control of this. Massive supply lead. I'm having more belief here in Doodle's ability to maybe swing this around and catch up, though, I have to say, after that last sweep. It's still a massive hill to climb, however. Observer is going to walk its way out. It's going to see that third. That might trigger an attack from Fisheye. Fisheye plays it carefully. Ooh, takes a huge hit on both re on at least, sorry, one Reaver. I thought that hit both with the splash. Also keep in mind, we've got that uh, extra Scarab damage out for Fisheye, which could be critical in some exchanges. Now going across the ramp, cutting in between. We have Psystorm is not finished, but we do have High Templar out on the front. The Reaver is unloading. Again, trying to establish a position where Fisheye has to walk in him into him, so maybe getting a superior engagement point. A lot of Dragoons bunching up and having trouble engaging in the fight. High Templar getting wiped out. But now, Doodle's army completely boxed in, and this is turning into the Alamo for him, where he has no exit. The shuttle evacuating without Reavers in it. And that is the entirety of Doodle's army, which opens up Fisheye to go for a counterattack, maybe either wiping out the Nexus at the mineral only, or wiping out if Doodle goes for a, an attack at the nine o'clock, just in case. I think Fisheye recognizes it and starting to fan out. I think it was a nice attempt from Doodle, but just not paying off and just an overwhelming supply count is really what it came down to from Fisheye. Could have been worse though. Sidestorm could have been finished in that moment. Plus one weapons is finished. Plus one armor is not gonna be that far behind. And again, with that supply lead, going to be a big boon. However, we do have that explosive shot upgraded on the Reaver, but there, one of them's gone, second one's gone, that's GG from Doodle. Wonderful play overall from both players. I enjoyed this game one. I think it uh, could suggest we're going to have a fun series, but game one goes to Fisheye. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give a like and subscribe if you do. Share with a friend. I appreciate your viewship as always. Thank you for listening.